All right, so I am here to see uh, the new movie, Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a new Marvel movie. Uh, it just came out today. Um, as you can see from the poster. Um, so yeah, so today is Friday, August 1st, and I'm going to go ahead and see it. Um, it seems like it's going to be a good movie, and I will give you my review once I see it. All right, so the movie just finished. Honestly, I think it was awesome. Uh, I give it a two thumbs up. And here's my review. How's it going, viewers? Super Sam 6 i 7 here. Sorry, I guess I should have said that earlier. Um, but before I go ahead and start doing the review, I just uh, want to go ahead and say that if you are, hey, if you want to watch the spoiler version, this is the non-spoiler version of the review, go ahead and, uh, and click here. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll give you a few seconds in case you want to click it all right so if you are uh, if you're still here that must mean that you're here for the non-spoiler version uh, so I'm just gonna give you what I liked about the movie without actually spoiling the movie for you um, so first of all so Guardians of the Galaxy um, so I love Marvel comics uh, I will be a little bit biased on that but thing is that I mean, they could have made a movie that was just completely terrible and but they didn't though which is the thing I mean, I've I've always liked the Guardians of the Galaxy um, and so going into this I expected some humor and they gave me a lot of humor so I'm happy with that um, there's a lot of it with uh, with Star Lord and and, uh, and Drax and everything like that and no one really understanding what Groot's saying except for Rocket um, but uh, but yeah so I love the amount of humor in there. Uh, there's also some, some really good action. Um, like there's uh, like there's like a big prison scene, um, and then of course it, this has to be the big fight scene, um, which was really cool. Um, and uh, but there's another thing that I didn't quite expect. Uh, there was quite a lot of emotion in it, especially uh, especially in the first scene. Um, so if you are pretty vulnerable to emotion, uh, be careful with the first scene. Um, what I also liked is that uh, a lot of the characters that they put into this movie, they really, they really uh, did a good job of making them like the comics. Like uh, Star Lord was pretty darn close to the comics. Uh, I've got my Star Lord blaster right here. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Star-Lord is pretty good. Um, Rocket was good, except for the name issue, because, uh, in the comics, if any comic lovers are watching this, uh, he wasn't just called Rocket, he was called Rocket Raccoon, which, uh, kind of got me at first, but kind of grew into it. Um, which I, I actually didn't expect. I thought I would be like, oh, well, they should have named him Rocket Raccoon. But they actually, uh, they actually made a point of saying that he doesn't actually know what a raccoon is, um, and he says that he's he's the only unique, uh, he's like a very unique creature. Um, uh, Gamora, they did pretty well. Uh, she's a uh, daughter of Thanos, a stepdaughter of Thanos, uh, who was turned over to uh, to um, Ronan, the Accuser. Um, Drax, I felt like they did a pretty good job with. Uh, not only did he look good, but uh, his like the way he fought and everything was very similar to the comics. Uh, the Nova Corps, I thought it was pretty cool. I loved their outfits. Uh, I like the I like the helmets and everything. Um, and uh, what else? Uh, Groot. Okay, so I think they did Groot really well. He looks good, but there was one thing that I kind of had a problem with. Uh, it was his healing. In the comics, his healing was uh, pretty fast. Like, his hand would get cut off or burned off or whatever, and then just a few panels later, later you'd see that it's pretty much there again. And then by the next page, it's completely there, and he's punching you with it already. Um, but in the movie, it was pretty slow. Like, he got his arm cut off, and then, like, the next two scenes, it was still rebuilding and everything. Um, yeah, so it was, it was a lot slower, which... Uh, Unfortunately, I didn't really like about that. 
Um, and I really like how they added a bunch of things from the other movies and kind of combined them into making like a intergalactic adventure, like um, uh, like the collector. Excuse me, from the uh, from the end of Thor: The Dark World. Um, he was uh, he was in there, um, and he he was like buying um, like an artifact from the Guardians. Um, so I kind of liked how he was there, um, and also uh, Thanos, who, in case anyone didn't know, he's the guy with the purple face who turned around at the end of the Avengers after the credits. Uh, he was in there, uh, very brief though, not a, not a big part. Um, and then uh, most importantly, the Infinity Stones. Uh, they were there; they were prominent, um, and also uh, there was the Celestials. Um, which kind of made an appearance in there. They introduced them. Uh, and the Celestials are essentially like these giant, uh, powerful robot-like things. Um, like, uh, the one that they just briefly showed had a bunch of, like, had like six eyes and you know, it's a big staff and everything. And then, uh, and then from the trailer you can see that they go to this big giant head, which is actually a severed Celestial head, which is turned into a place called Nowhere. Uh, which is just a place for thugs, um, and honestly, I mean, the overall feel of this movie was kind of like the Avengers, if the Avengers were a bunch of thugs and, uh, and mercenaries and outlaws, uh, which I really liked about that, because, you know, there was, uh, like, Star-Lord, he was, you can really tell that he was the main focus of the storyline, he was, he was really the lead. Uh, but then, you know, there's also Rocket, who was messing around with all this technology and everything. And, you know, there's Groot, who is pretty much, you know, like a big guy who can kind of take on the Hulk. Um, and you got, you know, Gamora, who can easily take on Black Widow, and, and you know, so on. But, yeah, so overall, I really liked it. Um, I can't wait for the next one, um, which I'm sure there will be. Uh, or at least not another Guardians of the Galaxy movie, but another movie with Guardians in it. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. And um, if you liked it, uh, feel free to leave a like. And if you liked me, feel free to subscribe. And uh, I will see you next time.